Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the NBA Finals where the Timberwolves are up 2-0 and now we head home to our home crowd in Game 3 away from hostile territories and unfortunately picking up a foul right away there. Pretty cheap foul to pick up there. Come on, rest. We're supposed to be getting the home court discount here. Instead, we get called for our first foul early on but then he ties driving to the rim there and then you see LeBron James trying to come out aggressive. And that seems to be the thing. LeBron will come out aggressive but at the end of the games, he's not exactly killing it. As you see, we Put Chris Bosh in the air and get that mid-range jumper to go. And it's it's pretty damn relaxing to come to our home crowd because when you're on the road, you get booed for everything, man. Like you go to the bathroom, you get booed, you pick up the ball, you get booed, you're sitting on the bench, you get booed. Here, they'll cheer you for anything. So that feels good as we give it off to Pekovic, but Pekovic misses the layup over Battier. I don't know why my bigs they have so much trouble like going against Battier, but um and they do. I see Mo Williams trying to get fancy, but he loses the ball and gets it back. Unfortunate break there. And he actually doesn't get to go, but there you see Chris Bosch on the offensive rebound. And in this series, there have been two very close games so far. You see Kevin Love spying up for three and knocking it down. And we were just able to squeak by in those two games. Could have easily been a 1 1 series. Could have easily been 0 2 for us and like a 2 0 for the Heat. Instead, you know, what happened happened. And now we're on the break here, taking it all the way over Bosch and getting that layup to go up then he ties aggressive early attacking the basket as much as I can and here you see they're putting up a little double team I'm, I want to take it but you see Wade playing some tough defense though there's Kevin Love getting the dunk to go and Love's having a great start to this game he's riding the hometown crowd and you see Greg Oden making one of his rare appearances off the bench for the heat and then Dwayne Wade getting that jumper to go and, and that's one thing about 2k as you see Chalmers trying to spot out for three is that I don't know, it's just Dwayne Wade, he'll make all the jumpers in the world that he wouldn't make in real life. It's Denny Tice, coast to coast, the bang in the bucket for Tice over Greg Oden, aka the father of LeBron James's child, or whatever the hell, man. As you see, Derek Williams getting that three to go there. I was getting double teamed, had to throw it to somebody, and thankfully Derek Williams gets that one. As you see LeBron James turning the ball over. They finally don't call a kick ball on that, but it ends up in the hands of Chalmers, and Chalmers gets that three-pointer to go to make it a two-point game at the end of the first quarter unless then he can get this three-pointer to go oh rattle in and out what a tease and we take a two-point lead into the second quarter and it's yet another close game the only lead only significant lead anybody's ever gotten in this series you see Denny Tice spotting up for three and banging that one home it's the early lead that he got in the um, first quarter of the first game otherwise you know, we've just been locked into each other as Denny gets the rejection on Chalmers. Chalmers tried to beat Denny backdoor, but Denny was having none of it, getting the big time block, seeing LeBron James pump faking Corey Brewer in the air and taking it all the way and one over Chevette. And Chevette getting some rare minutes in this series. But here we come back with Derek Williams running a little pick and roll. And Williams rolling hard to the rim there. Now it's Denny's turn to take it to the rim. And that's what we're doing, man. We're just taking it to the rim. Unfortunately, we blew an easy layup there, but. I and mean, that's the thing. The Heat don't really have much um, shot blocking in the paint, especially once you take Chris Bosh out. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get us to the rim as much as all time, which is pretty much the same strategy the Heat do. They try to get LeBron and James and Bosh all getting, you know, go to the rim as much as they can. Though sometimes Dwayne Wade will just stand up for the jump shot, and sometimes he'll just absorb contact and get it to go. It's pretty hard to anticipate, like, what Wade's going to do in this game. They see Kevin Love in the post, try to get him, like, a decent post look about five seconds left. Instead, LeBron James slams. I was trying to get that chase down on LeBron, but LeBron didn't. LeBron was not feeling that. Though we get the bucket over LeBron on the other end, nearly the end of the first half, and now LeBron James sprinting down court and getting that layup to go. LeBron James is just like a locomotive going down, and you see he misses the layup there or the alley oop, but he gets it back there. But yeah, LeBron James full head of steam in transition. Not much you can do, and I was not trying to get blocked by LeBron there. So when I saw LeBron all over me, I'm like, oh wait, LeBron's dude is open, so I kick it out to Corey Brewer and Brewer gets the decent mid-range look to go and Denny Tice once again in the paint and now that I'm attacking the paint so much that's leaving the shooters open because now LeBron's got to come double team since I made so many um, shots in the paint and you see me I'm trying to get that steal and I just poke it out of Chris Bosh's hands and that's leaving shooters open and here we throw the oop oh Denny to Denny that was not supposed to happen that was for Corey Brewer instead D Wade dunking on the other end and I did not mean to lob myself man it actually counts as a turnover somehow 
even though it banged off the rim there. I don't know how that counts as a turnover. Nonetheless, I believe that's Kevin Love spotting off a three-pointer there, and that should be Corey Brewer spotting off a three, but 2K robs me of a decent assist there because the ball just goes out of bounds. You know, got like a 90 passing rating, but it's okay, 2K. It's okay. That happens. It happens. People will just throw it out of bounds, and here we pickpocket Chalmers, stealing the ball up by four points, about to make it up by six as Derek Williams skies over Chalmers for the oop, and that's what's supposed to happen. Not Denny to Denny, but they come back the other end. They get a lob of their own to Udonis Haslam of all people. And Chalmers gets rejected. Denny on the rebound. Denny has six rebounds in this game. Trying to get a bucket for the end of the third. Kicking out to Gerald Henderson. Henderson to Buttinger. But Buttinger can't beat the buzzer like he did in game two at the end of the third. Probably should have just taken that one to the rim. It Now in hindsight. Instead in the fourth quarter. Buttinger off to a pretty rough start in this game. Breaking that shot as well. Up by six. LeBron James taking this one. Trying to take this one coast to coast. Look at him trying to force it. Just force it. Going in the post now. Smaller defender on him. And LeBron is playing bully ball right now. That's the one thing you don't want to see. LeBron James playing bully ball. Here I give to Kevin Love. And Kevin Love having a great game. This is easily his best game of the finals. And his best game in quite a while. Because he's struggling that Warrior series. But now he's starting to heat up. He's actually leading us in points with over 20 points. I give it to Love one more time. And Love tries to give it back to me. I don't know why, but now that lets Chalmers go all the way and get that layup to go, and it's a tie ball game. Our decent six-point cushion is gone. Now we got to scrap for points, giving it to Kevin Love, but Love can't get one that can't get that one to go, and we're starting to falter in the fourth quarter. Kevin Love is not getting his, and I'm not really getting mine as they throw yet another lob. This time the Bosch. Those are really frustrating, man. You might have half court lobs they get, and they try to throw another one there. Instead, it ends up back in LeBron's hands and to Shane Battier, and now it's a, a six-point. Timberwolf lead turned into a five point heat lead. So I call a timeout. Like, you know what? Let's relax, man. Let's relax and let me look for my offense. I haven't done that in a really long time. I've been trying to give it to Brewer, trying to give it to Love, but let's give it to Denny, man. LeBron's doing what he's got to do. He's playing aggressive. Now I got to come and put the team on my back in this fourth quarter, down by five points. Instead, I throw yet another turnover. At that point, I'm like, all right, I can't keep doing this. But look at that bad pass. Denny gets the steal there, and he's spotting up for three. Denny ties. Kaboom. He's got that one to go, and it's back to a two point lead. And we're trailing the heat, but we trailed in the fourth quarter in every single game in this series as LeBron James blows by Brewer. No paint protections back to a four-point lead. But yeah, we've been down in every single fourth quarter in this series, so this is nothing new for us. So here we go, shaking Mo Williams away, giving it to Pekovic, and Pekovic makes it back a two-point game, back and forth as it always is with these two teams. Just constant scoring. Nobody can play defense right now. You see Chris Bosh at the rim gets set to go back to a four-point lead. We're going to need at least one stop, man. We're going to need at least one stop. In the meantime, a deep three-pointer. Oh, Denny Tice from the NBA Finals logo trying to take that one. Did not get it. It's a Dwayne Wade gets rejected by Tice. D. Wade trying to take it all the way. Instead, Denny gonna go coast to coast with this one. Absorbing the contact and making a two-point game. What a what a little sequence there. Could have been a four-point heat lead. Now it's only two points because Denny gets the block and the bucket. You see me trying to pickpocket Mo Williams. We get the steal and Corey Brewer dunks that one home to tie the ball game back up and well, that's what you need, man. You need a few blocks, you need a few steals, whatever it is, Denny's willing to provide. And you see, they get the bucket right back. They're making back a two-point heat lead. Dwayne Wade in the post, fading away. And like I said, man, sometimes D-Wade, he'll just get that one to go. So he back up on top, up by two, 220 left in the game, blowing by Mo Williams and getting that layup to go. No shot blocking behind Mo. And Denny ties the game back up. Now LeBron James, the floater, is going in and out. LeBron can't get that one to go two minutes left in the game to Corey Brewer hoping he can spot up instead he passes it out back to Denny and Denny draws the foul on Mo there pump faking in the air now Kevin Love out to Tice for three Denny can't get his team to lead defensive rebound there by Bosch now Wade trying to push the ball in transition out to LeBron LeBron doing what he's been doing all game attacking but he loses the ball it's a steal by Tice poking the ball out of LeBron's hands and now on the other end Denny Tice all the way gets the 
the layup to go over Bosch. Bosch couldn't block that one. Now it's a two point Timberwolves lead. Mo Williams trying to get that one to go out the batty. Back to Mo. Tough layup. Mo gets it to go. It bounces in. They get the friendly bounce. Now under a minute to go in a tie ball game. Shot clock winding down. Out to Brewer for the lead. But Brewer couldn't get it to go. Big offense rebound by Peck. And I call for the ball. I'm like, don't, don't shoot that. And now they're sending double teams at Tice. I see Brewer's open. He cuts. And Brewer all the way to the rim. I did not expect him to cut. It was almost a turnover. Instead, Brewer gives us the lead with 30 seconds remaining he needing a bucket right now ball in lebron james's hands he's taking it all the way and he blows the layup lebron james misses a bunny at the oh man lebron choking in the clutch and denny tice the opposite of choking getting that free throw to go then he's eighth rebound the game the most rebounds that he's ever had in the game and he gets both free throws to go to make it a four point game now they need a score absolutely need one and they force one with mo williams in the paint instead horrible shot selection there and then he back to the free throw line after getting his ninth rebound the game and we get both free throws to go once again actually we only got one or two free throws to go there so now it's a four point game here 10 seconds left he had no timeouts and and they can get three pointer. They can make things a little bit interesting. So Badier out to Mo. Then he pump fake, uh, trying to block the shot. Mo pump fakes and he gets the shot to go with 1.3 seconds left. It's a two point game. And if you notice, because I put my hands up in the air trying to get that block shot, uh, uh, Mo Williams had to regroup and he actually took a two pointer instead of a three pointer. So that worked out well for us. Unfortunately, then he misses the free throw. Fortunately, they have no timeouts and only 0.3 seconds left. So they need some miracle as then he hits the second free throw. So here we go. What can they do with 0.3? absolutely nothing and we win yet another close game i just i can't believe we're just coming through it all these close games just some really clutch performances by denny and same thing as game two clutch performances on our side and lebron james missing that layup that would have tied the game unbelievable by one of the best finishes in the paint in the nba lebron james and we come out with the wins. Hope you guys leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K14 My Career Games. Because you know Game 4 is going to be another thriller. And come back and see if we can win the championship in Game 4.